Sun Devils started off their two-game series against RIT with a bang, outscoring the Tigers 6-1 to one with five goals coming in the third period. Goaltender Max Prozac got his third start of the season after notching the win in their previous game at Brown. Jordan Sandu opened up the scoring for the Sun Devils in the first after a patient feed from Johnny Walker. Head coach Greg Powers said his ability to draw defensemen toward him is one of his strong suits. I mean, it, when he's when he's doing everything the right way in every zone, it's when he's, he's, he's a dominant player. Everything just kind of domino effects the right way for him because he's such a good player. So when he's looking to distribute and suck guys to him because he's so dangerous when he has the puck, it, it, good things are going to happen. In the second, RIT battled back early, scoring three minutes into the period, and the Sun Devils went into the third, tied 1-1 a scenario that has been haunting the team all season. We were just, you know, I mean, we, we've been in this position so many times. Just like last week against Brown, we, you know, we, we, we've been in a position down going into the third and, and hadn't come back to win yet. We've been in a, a position now, um, before tonight, uh, five, no, six times, tied going into the third. We hadn't won. The ASU came out buzzing. Jacob Semmet got his second goal of the season. 34 seconds later, Johnny Walker scored his 15th goal of the season. Another minute and 36 seconds later, Jack Justin scored with a pass from Semmet. And they didn't stop there. Seven seconds later, Willie Neerham scored after a puck took a bad bounce to the dislike of the Tigers. And Jared Gorley finished off the scoring for the Sun Devils with 10 minutes left in the game. Up 6-1 in the third, Walker attempted the Michigan and almost got it past the RIT goaltender but came just short. The Sun Devils head to game two of the series tomorrow with hopes to get their second sweep in a row. At Oceanside Ice Arena, I'm Allie Kruzniak, Cronkite Sports.